Well, hello and welcome to what is probably going to be the first edition of Mostly Motion for 2022. Therefore, I hope you've had a proper good new year and you're ready and loaded for some training in 2022. Now, I'm in the beautiful Dahlstrom area today and I have no idea why they call it dull because it's probably one of the most beautiful places in South Africa. But today is not really about Dahlstrom, it's about a little camera that I bought uh, a while back and I want to showcase it today to try and see if the Insta360 ONE X2, so that's the second generation of camera, is going to be suitable for Enduro riding. I've already had a few problems in terms of mounting it where Enduro is a little bit more harsh on the bikes, the people and the cameras you use than let's say road biking or adventure biking. So this is the Insta360 ONE X2 and it is basically just a camera with two lenses with some trickery in terms of the software and who does the stitching afterwards. Uh, I must mention that it's actually a little bit more work than just taking normal GoPro footage because you have to edit the position of the camera after actually filming. So it adds an extra step to your video. Some of the more avid, mostly motion followers may have seen some of the footage we've used in the last two races, as well as some of our rides in the, in the little, last little while. So the only accessory that I have bought for the ONE X2 is the premium lens guards. And I actually had the plastic lens guards on first, but they distorted the image quality a little bit too much. So I bought the uh, premium lens guard and I'm going to use my Volcano some or other ear pods because this has a function where you can actually connect it to your ear pods. So I'm going to put that in my helmet. And the point of this test today is to try and see if you can use the Insta360 ONE X2 as a primary camera on the bike. So I've been using the GoPro and I don't think I'll replace that just yet just because of the extra step that the ONE X2 has in the editing and it makes it a little bit more difficult or just takes a little bit longer but I'm going to try and see if you can use this as a, as a, as a primary camera and I'll also use it as a secondary camera to get some nice shots, some stationary shots I will try and demonstrate on the bike. So let's go on the bike and see what this ONE X2 is like. Okay, so I have the uh, ear pod connected to my ear inside the helmet and um, the 360 camera connected up top here. I think you can see the mount if I just turn it around. We're going to take our first ride with this setup just sort of as a primary camera. I have no idea what the audio sounds like. I just tore my glove, which is awesome. Um, yeah, let's take a ride just around this beautiful area. <laughs>
So I'm parked here on this beautiful, beautiful landscape. And there's just mountains as far as the eye can see. I stopped here specifically because I wanted to see how well the pod connection works with the Insta360 One X2 without it being in the helmet. Because I played back a little bit of footage from me riding just now. And I'll probably put something in the video back there. Um, it didn't sound great. It sounded distorted. It might just have been the camera playback. Um, but we'll check as soon as we get home. But um, yeah, just an audio check. Uh, one, two, three, some wind blowing, maybe some wind noise there. And um, we're going to go back and do some clutch control drills now. And then obviously, I will end the video there without knowing what the footage actually came out looking like. And maybe just comment down below after you've subscribed and tell me what you think about this, this kind of camera for my kind of channel where it's more of an action kind of a shot i know there are better cinematographers out there than i am i don't have any problem with that but uh, let me know what you think about this video as a primary camera or as a secondary camera just to capture all of the action regardless of what's happening So, thank you for watching. That concludes this video of Mostly Motion. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Insta360 ONE X2 as an action camera or a primary video camera for this kind of channel. I will uh, be back with another video and a new look for the bike. See you next time. Thank you for watching Mostly Motion.